Hello guys, so today we are going to talk about this little gadget. It's called an OBD2 scanner and I'm going to show you how it works to help you be able to do quick diagnostics of your car system and uh, troubleshoot any problems that might be showing up on your HUD and uh, uh, it doesn't really matter whether or not you have an uh, you have anything showing on your HUD but uh, it's always advisable to do periodic uh, checks on your car system because uh, you will not always get uh, warnings or alarms on your HUD uh, for some problems that uh, the system might consider minor but uh, for from my experience you can you can be having issues that are that are underlying that are not highlighted there but might turn out to be a major problem if not addressed in good time so today i'm going to show you how to use this obd2 scanner it is a cheap device that uh, actually goes a long way um i think it's quite expensive to do the to take the car out to the shop to have it diagnosed professionally and uh, even though you might need to do so once in a while i believe that this gadget is sufficient to help you pinpoint some of the minor and uh, also major issues that you might be facing at a relatively pocket friendly price so first and foremost these items goes for not more than 700 shillings uh, on aliexpress or uh, you could order it uh, from alibaba if you intend to buy them in bulk but uh, it's easier to get it through aliexpress or maybe sourcing it locally but uh, of course sourcing it locally in Kenya you might incur you, you might incur a higher cost as opposed to importing it directly from China so let me show you how we are going to use the device to do our diagnostics okay so um first and foremost you need to find your vehicles uh, OBD2 port so this is Nissan Note. So the OBD port should be somewhere here. You open this uh, hatch, and uh, yeah, there is the OBD port. So the next step you should do is to plug in the the device. As you can see, there have been some light action there. So when you plug it in, there will be some light action on this, on this, uh, on these LEDs, and uh, depending on whether or whether or not it can access the ECU, you'll be able to tell from the lights. Uh, one of the lights indicates the Wi-Fi connection to the phone, and uh, yeah, let's get to it so we can be able to see what I'm talking about. So when you plug it in like this. You see that light action and you get the you get two two leds the the first one and the second one come on so that means that it's receiving power but uh, it doesn't guarantee that it is connected to the ecu so the next step is to turn the car to the on position Yeah, once the car is in the on position, uh, now you can be sure that the device is receiving uh, sufficient power and uh, you're ready for the next step. Okay, then you take your phone and uh, the first thing is to turn on the Wi-Fi. So um, you'll find a hotspot named Wi-Fi OBD2. And you connect to that one. 
So since I had already connected, uh, it connected automatically. So after you you get the connection, you now go to the app. So there's a there's an app that comes free with that device, um, which I found to be particularly responsive to Nissan Nissan cars. The app is called Talk. This one is a free version. It's a full free version that comes free with the with the OBD2 scanner, and it comes on a mini disc. And uh, there's also another app that you might you might download uh, from the Play Store, and uh, the name is the is Car Scanner. Car Scanner. This one is uh, this one works well with the Toyotas, and uh, for for those cars that uh, cannot work with the fast app, you can always use this app to to do the connection. I find that uh, between the two apps, uh, most of the cars can be covered. Let's put the car in the on position. And uh, if you do have a cutout, you have to release it so that the car may be fully on. So that you can attempt to connect the OBD, OBD tool scanner to, to the phone successfully. So you click on connect. See the action there? Yes. So the app will give you suggestions on optimizing the app which you can accept or reject and then now once you are done with that you can now go directly to the diagnostics and trouble codes click on that and you can you can check all the boxes if you want to do an uh, a comprehensive check on the vehicle or you could just tick the ones that you are interested in i like to do the full full diagnostic so once all the boxes are checked you just click the read button and the process begins so as this unit is reading you will see the led blinking like that that one shows that uh, data is being transmitted between the vehicle's ECU and the OBD2 scanner and uh, also that data is being shared between the phone and the scanner so we will wait for a couple of minutes as the the scanning continues and then uh, we'll be able to see the the problematic uh, codes yeah and as you can see um from my heart there is there are no there are no active alarms there are no active alarms um can see that ps signal blinking i don't know i will do some research on that see what it means but it could be possible that it means that uh, there's a uh... yeah okay so um the diagnostics has finished and as you can see uh there have been no faults recorded but if there were we could have had that opportunity to find where the fault is sort it out and then do another troubleshooting and uh, once you've sorted the hardware problem you could now come in and then again clear the codes you see it's as simple as that so for this simple service, you could pay for upwards of 3,000 
uh, when you take your car out to to the shop depending on the car model but as you can see it's something that you can very easily do on your own at home and uh, find faults and then sort them out